So now we're asked to derive the equation f is equal to ma. So to start this one off, we use Newton's second law, which tells us that force is proportional to the rate of change of momentum. So we can write that as force is proportional to change of momentum over time. And that then can be written as F is proportional to the change in momentum is M times the final velocity minus M times the initial velocity over T. Now we can factor out our M here. So F is proportional to M times V minus U over T. Now V minus U over T, well that's just acceleration. So now we have F is proportional to M times A, mass times acceleration. If we want to get rid of this proportionality sign and make that an equal sign, we need to bring in our constant of proportionality. So that would be F is equal to K, which is our constant of proportionality times MA and k is equal to one, I'll explain why that is in a second. If k is equal to one, that means f is equal to ma, which is what we were asked to show in the first place. Now, why is k one? Well, the force is one newton, if we define uh, one newton, so f is equal to one newton. In this case, if we have a force of one newton, that means we have a mass of one kilogram, and we have an acceleration of one meter per second squared. And if we sub in one, one, and one into the equation here, we get K is equal to one. So that's the reason why K is equal to one.